Hey guys, David with First Place Auto Parts. Thanks for joining me today. Have you had a strange vibration in your vehicle that you just can't seem to find? Have you had the tires and wheels rotated and balanced, still to no avail? Engines running smooth? There's no reasonable explanation why you're getting a vibration. And typically it comes through the floorboard. It feels like it's in the chassis of the vehicle when you're driving. Typically at highway speeds or maybe you're hearing a clunk when you go to take off from a dead stop or pull something with your vehicle. Chances are your motor mounts have gone soft or they've torn all together. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at how to diagnose if your motor mounts are bad. Casper, the friendly shop truck that we have here, has developed kind of a strange vibration at highway speed. I don't feel it in the steering wheel. It's not the wheels and tires. I put brand new tires on the truck. I really feel it in the floorboard. When I go to put the truck in gear, especially if I'm pulling a trailer with my dirt bike on it, I'm getting a definitive clunk. So what I believe has happened is either the motor mount is torn, one of the motor mounts, there's two of them, or the transmission mount uh, on the tail shaft of the transmission has gone bad as well. Um, it's, it's all possible. This is a 1987 truck. The, the motor mounts are the original ones. They're made out of rubber. And what's interesting about rubber is it deteriorates not only over time, but with heat. Uh, motor mounts are on the lower part of your motor. They're down by the exhaust manifolds and the head pipe for the exhaust system. So they're continually bathed in heat. To test your motor mounts, with your emergency brake set, start your vehicle, put the car in gear, and slowly bring the RPMs up, watching for the motor to rise or fall. In this case, the driver's side motor mount is completely shot. One thing I hadn't noticed until now was that the actual exhaust manifold was hitting the frame, which was the clunk I was feeling every time I put the vehicle in gear. To get to the motor mount on the driver's side of this truck, I want to have to remove the air conditioner mounting bracket and also the exhaust manifolds. And at the same time, I'll remove the spark plugs and the spark plug leads and disconnect the wide pipe from the bottom of the exhaust manifold. That'll give me better access to the actual motor mount itself. The old motor mount had deteriorated to the point that it was hard as a rock. It allowed a half inch of movement of engine travel up and down. The new motor mount with the rubber bushing inside was tight as it could be. I go ahead and put the motor back together, install the exhaust manifolds and the brackets that I've taken off and prepared to start the vehicle. The other thing to look at is look how much difference there is in the gap between the exhaust manifold and the frame mount for the motor mount. I couldn't put my finger between these two things before I replaced this motor mount. Now I have the width of my middle finger literally between the exhaust manifold and the saddle itself. So this definitely uprighted the engine and put it in the proper position. With the new motor mount installed and performing the same test as before, we can see how little the engine moves every time I apply the throttle with the vehicle in gear while holding the brakes. A closer look shows how much more room there is between the exhaust manifold and the frame and the bracket that holds the motor mount in place. Okay, now the motor mount's replaced, I can tell you what a huge difference it made in the drivability of the shop truck. If you remember before, I was getting a strange vibration that was coming through the chassis itself, through the floorboard of the truck. What had happened is the old motor mount had compressed and deteriorated so much that it allowed the exhaust manifold on the driver's side to rest against the saddle that the motor mount sits into that is connected directly to the frame. All the engine vibrations was transmitted directly to the frame and that's what I was feeling. Also, when I was driving the truck, there was a certain hesitation at throttle tip-in that I just couldn't tune out. And this is a TBI truck, it's a throttle body truck, so it's fuel injected, it shouldn't have had that. What was happening was the motor mount had so much play, every time I would tip into the throttle, the motor would shift in the saddle, which would take up some of that initial acceleration that I was expecting to take place. So it wasn't a motor issue at all, or a carburation or a fuel injection issue, it was the motor mount. Now replacing the motor mount on the shop truck, I had to remove the exhaust manifold and the AC mounting brackets that have good access on the driver's side. Your vehicle may be different, may be easier, may be a little more difficult, just remember to take your time. And the most important thing is be careful because you will be lifting the engine up, whether it's with a hoist, engine hoist, or a jack underneath the oil pan, but you're gonna to have to support the weight of the engine while you're sliding that motor mount out. But it can be done and the benefits are well worth the effort. If you found this video helpful or informational, please consider subscribing to the First Place Auto Parts YouTube channel. We will continually be adding new product review videos, how to install videos, and going to some pretty cool car guy events. I'm sure you're gonna wanna see. Until next time, keep the hammer down, keep it between the guardrails.